Today we are going to bake. We're gonna bake like crazy. This time it's all cookies, Christmas cookies. She has four Christmas cookies from one basic dough. Make the dough once, then you can create different cookies from it. It's a basic sugar cookie, so we'll make the sugar cookie. Chocolate cookies, white chocolate cranberry cookies, peppermint sugar cookies, and then just the basic sugar cookies. So that's what we're gonna do today. This lady is a genius. She was saying that you can make these ahead of time and freeze them and then bake them when you need them, which I think is perfect. You need a cup and a half of butter and two thirds cup shortening. All right, let's start making this dough. I will have the recipe down below if you want it. I'm just gonna start adding stuff in. All right, we're gonna combine the butter and the shortening together. Okay, that is creamed together, and now I'm gonna add the sugars. And we're going to need two and a half cups of granulated sugar and one half cup of light brown sugar. Now I can add the eggs and vanilla. I'm gonna switch out these paddles for the cookie paddles. So in another bowl, we're gonna do the flour mixture. I've got my big guy of flour here, and I'm gonna need four and three-fourths cup flour. Then we're gonna add some baking soda and salt. Mix this together. We're gonna start the flour mixture in with this. All right, we're going to now separate this dough into four. So I'm gonna put them in four bowls and then we'll start on our four different cookies. So the first one I'm gonna do is just the normal sugar cookie. And this one says that it's the two cups of the basic sugar cookie dough, a half cup of granulated sugar, buttercream frosting and sprinkles. So basically what you're gonna do is roll this into a ball in uh, and then cover it in the sugar put it on your baking sheet and get it in the oven. So she says, if making ahead of time, place the cookie dough balls, so you're gonna make your four kinds, you're gonna take your cookie dough balls into the freezer for a couple of hours until firm, and then put them in the freezer bags and containers. You've seen me do that, yep. You bake at 375 degrees for nine to 11 minutes, fresh or frozen. Okay, so I am gonna bake these, and then while these are in the oven, I'm going to roll out the rest of the two cups of the sugar cookies, roll them in the sugar, put them on this baking sheet in parchment paper, and throw them in the freezer. So I'll have some already made, and some already in the freezer, waiting for another time. I have 14 cookies that are going in the freezer, and then we can make later on in the month. I mean, right? Right. So I'm gonna let these cool and then we'll frost them and decorate them. It'll be a good time. So now to make these chocolate cookies, I'm gonna take this melted chocolate. I'm gonna add it in here, mix it up, and we're gonna add a half a cup of chocolate chips with it and mix it all together. These are now gonna get in the oven, and then I will roll these out and put them on another baking sheet to put in the freezer. So I'm gonna do this at eight minutes to make sure they don't cook too much. Oh, would you look at those? And wait till you see what we do to them in just a little while after they cool off. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Okay, the third cookie we're gonna make with that batter is white chocolate cranberry cookies. So you need two cups of the cookie batter, a half a cup of white chocolate chips, and a half a cup of like dried cranberries. 
or craisins, whatever you want to call them. I'm just using the good old Walmart kind. I'm going to give that a mix. All right, they're going in. All right, let's get these in the freezer too. Oh, I let these go a little too long, but that's okay. I'm going to hurry up and get them on the cooling rack. Bummer! But at least I have more. I have more I can make, so. All right, for this next cookie, we're going to need some crushed up candy canes. So I have a package of candy canes here, and I'm just going to get my aggression out. <laughs> I'm going to take the two, last two cups, and I'm going to need four tablespoons of the crushed candy canes. Get them into the cookie. You can add red food coloring. It's optional, but you can add it. Oh, I am out of red, but I've got pink in here. So let's see what we could do with this pink. I don't know how many to do. I'm just going to do it. Twelve? <laughs> I don't know. All right, we're gonna make some cookies out of these. All right, these look awesome, but I bet we can make them look even better. So let's put some toppings on them. We're gonna leave the white chocolate cranberry alone, but let's drizzle or put some frosting and some toppings on these. All right, the creator of this cookie recipe has got it all going on. And she makes better cream frosting. I am not up to that today. So I grabbed some already whipped vanilla frosting and I'm just going to put some food coloring in these and call it a day. So I have some peppermint extract. So I am just going to, I have no idea, put a little in, mix it in, give it a taste. I don't want to make it strong. Capful. We'll try that. And I got the whipped frosting, so it could, ha it could be nice and airy. You could pipe it on. It might look prettier, but um, yeah, we're talking about me here. So I'm just gonna swirl this on. So I just gave it a nice swirl like that. So now we're gonna take some of the crushed candy cane and just add it on. Okay, we're gonna take this one and we're gonna make it green. Thank goodness I do have green <laughs> food coloring. I guess I could've done this with the peppermint and not have put it in the bowl, but I didn't know how messy it would be. It's pretty bright, so I'm gonna add some more in. All right, I think that's as green as we're gonna get it. Again, I'm just gonna swirl it. Now, if you want the icing to be harder and not so soft, what I did with the other batch was I put it in the freezer. So I'll do that the same with these. So that way the frosting is stiffer and not so soft. And voila. All right, for this one, I just grabbed a handful of chocolate chips. I'm gonna melt these down, and then we're gonna drizzle the top of these chocolate ones with it. You know you can add oil and stuff to make your chocolate drizzle better, but I really am not, who cares, right? It's a cookie. So we have chocolate drizzled all on top. Boom. All right, so I'm gonna put on this freezer bag. Bake at 375 nine minutes <laughs> okay here are all the frozen cookies i'm going to get them all in a bag or is i don't have any more of the quart size freezer bags that would have been perfect so i'm just going to put what i can in these sandwich baggies and then put them in the big freezer bag i'm just going to stick this in my big freezer and we have cookies for ho the holiday season we are set those will be great gifts four different kinds from one batch of dough that's awesome i'm going to take my cookies we're going to go hang out in the freezer i'm done i'm done my feet hurt it's time to sit down all right thank you bye Mwah. Mwah.